Left okay, it. sorry. <laughs> this is going to be the most obnoxious half hour in today's show history. <laughs> We're going to play Name That Tune. That's is right. That right? What Tom, are the teams? Well, Tom Kennedy is going to be hosting. He's going to be here. It's going to be you and me against Ann and Katie. So I'll take my advice. We're going to get do scoped. all the talking. <laughs> you too, Katie. I'm not sure I know how to play this game. Oh, but you'll easy. explain it, right? You the buzzer. You Tom name the tune. Or you Who's, is there going to be someone singing? Can I sing the song? No, 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 no there's no player. singing. Oh, okay. All player. right, but first your local news. It's Game Show Legends Week. So far, we've played The Price is Right. Let's make a deal in the newlywed game. Coming up, we'll name that tune only on today on NBC. Tonight on NBC Nightly News, Israel advances on six towns. Palestinians are defiant, the deepening crisis. But you saw the headlines. A tax break for your weight loss? It's true. But before you get the reduction deduction, check out the fine print. What you need to know about losing weight and gaining money. NBC Nightly News tonight. One last basket. One last shift. One last patient. One last goodbye. I wouldn't change a thing. Join us for Dr. Green's last day at the ER. Tonight on NBC. Shop cable me to order now. Finally ready to go furniture shopping? Then you get bombarded with a gift. Now home collection only at Comfort Seating Brookfield. New tonight at 10, that annual visit to the doctor's office will do you good, but some health experts say it's time to update their traditional checkup. Find out what tests they want to add tonight at 10. Good morning, I'm Amy Taylor. In the news today, a Milwaukee mother who killed her son with a baseball bat wants to leave a mental health facility. Elise Ledvina killed her eight-year-old son, John, in 1997. His nine-year-old brother, Joe, survived the attack. Ledvina was found legally insane and committed to a mental hospital, but now she wants to be released into a halfway house. Elise's attorney plans to present mental experts who say that she has been largely rehabilitated, but Elise's ex-husband doesn't want their surviving son to live in fear. Douglas Simpson, without the threat hanging over him, that Elise could contact him or could attack him. A hearing on the transfer request is scheduled for next Thursday. Let's check your weather forecast today. Scattered snow showers along the lake early, partly to mostly cloudy, a high of 30. Get the best prices of the year at Rust Arrow Nissan. During our spring fling sale, drive home the all-new 2002 Altima, named North American Car of the Year, for only $16.9 or $159 a month. Lease the Nissan Sentra for just $99 a month. Or get financing as low as 0.9%. Our spring fling sale ends soon, so don't let these offers pass you by. Hurry in for your best selection at Rust Aero Nissan. You could win one of five $50 shopping gift certificates to Gurney Mills. To enter, please visit our website at touchtmj4.com. Come on, get comfortable during Holder's store-wide incredible value sale this week. There's no cash needed, plus no payment till April 2003. 0% interest. Save on appliances by Bosch, Sub-Zero, Gen Air, KitchenAid, GE, Amana, and more. You'll be comfortable with Colder's latest selections, quality, and guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, no payment till April 2003. 0% interest during the incredible value sale now at Colder's Original West Allis, South Shore Oak Creek, and Lake Country in Delafield. Your station for breaking news. Today's TMJ4. We're back on a Thursday morning. It's the fourth day of April, 2002. And, of course, that is the theme song for the classic game show, Name That Two. And what you've all been waiting for in this half hour, Katie, Al, Ann, and I are going to head out to the plaza for a friendly competition. Who's that? A no holds bar grudge match of that little game. And, and uh, Katie is already dusting up on her song titles. Anne has already said she doesn't stand a chance. And I will tell you right now, I'll be the worst at this. And Al's going to have to do all the talking. You're looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Although, seriously, I, I'm not that familiar with the game. 
so I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Oh, she's downplaying <laughs> expectations right now. She knows more songs than anybody on the planet. Exactly. Anyway, this is all part of our game show Legends Week. We'll continue today with Tom Kennedy, the host of Name That Tune, as well as many others. And did you know that Name That Tune, by the way, started out as a radio show? I did not know that. I didn't either. Then a bit later on, if you'd like hair like J-Lo, I thought they were, when I first read that, it was like hair like Jello. <laughs> it's like, who'd want hair like Jello? Like J-Lo or Julia Roberts, but you're not sure you could pull it off. We're going to show you how you can try out these looks on you before you take a seat in the salon. And it's all done in cyberspace, and it's apparently really a pretty cool way of testing out certain dues. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I would look, I'd want to like do that. Like the plastic surgery thing before, not that you know about <laughs> that, but... Before you know where they do the, you're digging yourself. Do they computer. do that? Yeah, yeah, they do. They show you what you'd look like with a nose job or with your lips done. Or Is stuff that true? Like I to know that. Yeah, I heard. A friend of mine told me that. <laughs> We're also going to get a behind the seams report from People Magazine's West Coast style editor Stephen Kojicaro. But first, Mr. Roker's outside with another check of the weather, Al. I am, and I have found a beautiful baby girl. Who is this? This is Katie Klein. Katie Klein. How yeah. old's Katie? She's ten months. Where are you guys from? Buffalo. Well, thanks for coming. That's yeah. why she's all dressed up and yeah, all we're warm. Used to this she, you're weather. used to this. Yeah. Very nice. What's your name, young lady? Morgan. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis, huh? <laughs> All right. How long are you here for? Um, till Sunday. Okay. Well, I hope you have a nice time. Thanks. Right. Let's check your weather, see what's happening. And we'll show you for today. We do have uh, some clouds working their way through the Great Lakes, some snow coming out of those clouds, some wet weather in southern Texas. Otherwise, much of the country looks pretty nice. We've got a few snow showers, as we said, in the Great Lakes. Out west, beautiful sunshine in Seattle today at a temperature of 66 degrees. We're looking at sunny skies, 93 in Phoenix, Arizona. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Today's Milwaukee area forecast calling for some scattered snow showers right along the lakeshore early, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy and just some scattered flurries later on with a high of 38. The weather improves a bit tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy, temperatures getting into the 40s. It's Stein Optical's best buy one get one free sale under the sun. Just buy one pair of glasses and get a free pair for you, a family member. Now let's go back inside the cage. All right, Al, thanks so much. Coming up next on today, yes, it's time to play Name That Tune with game show legend Tom Kennedy. Hi, Tom. Hi, Katie. <laughs> be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> I can hardly wait. <laughs> right after these messages. Have you gotten yourself into too much credit? A show of hands for Playtex, the hardest working, most comfortable gloves made in America. Made strongest to last longest. It's our promise. Playtex, we glove your hands. Irregularity can keep you tied up in knots. But you don't need to be irregular. All you need is Colace. With Colace, you get safe, gentle, reliable relief from irregularity, so you can relax and take it easy. Take doctor-recommended Colace for gentle regularity and try Peri Colace for fast, overnight relief. Wouldn't it be nice if there was someone to handle leaky faucets, clogged drains, even broken water heaters, someone at your beck and call no matter when, and wouldn't it be fantastic if that someone was your husband? Quit dreaming. Call Mr. Rooter. He's no ordinary plumber. Plastic holds the promise of a better world, taking medicine to new heights and giving our lives greater comfort. It puts the answers in our hands and hope in our hearts. Plastics make it possible. You work on it. You think on it. You play on it. It was kind of like this dream I'd always Spend had. Spend all day on it. Getting into something. <laughs> Chill on Talk it. Talk on it. Home with Relax us. on it. It's really warm. It's comforting. You entertain on it. Pass the time. Watch TV. Romance. Drift away. Think on it. Being able to be there for hours. You spend your life on it. Shouldn't it be the furniture you've always wanted? And now it's easy with the Simple Finance Plan, only at Ethan Allen. Furniture built for your life. At a price you can actually live with. It's time now for today's Game Show Legends Week. This morning, Tom Kennedy of Name That Tune. Now here's Al Roker. 
game show. That's right. It's Tom Pardo. Is he here? He's not here, but he was uh, here in spirit. Uh, hard to believe Tom Kennedy has hosted 16 shows during his distinguished career. His most memorable being, being the classic Name That Tune. The show tested contestants' musical knowledge and had viewers humming along at home. So with the help of Ralph Edwards Productions, we thought we'd take a look back at the origin of that famous musical challenge. Name That Tune. Name That Tune. Name that tune. Tonight, from Hollywood, it's Name That Tune. Name That Tune played its way into the homes of Americans across the country, becoming one of the most popular quiz shows in television history. Hey, nothing but la -la. Name That Tune. Before becoming the first American to orbit the Earth, former Senator John Glenn made a guest appearance on the 50s version of the popular show with host George DeWitt. Name This Tune. You know the name of that song? Liza. Liza, you are right. The music faded in 1959. But in the 70s, the show was back and better than ever, thanks in part to a new charismatic host. And now, here's the star of our show, Tom Kennedy. Tom Kennedy worked great as a host because he was very likable. He had fun with the contestants, helped them to relax in a tense situation, uh, and kept the energy up. No stranger to the genre, Kennedy was already known to audiences as the MC for shows like The Big Game, You Don't Say, and Split Second. But his talent for guiding contestants through a series of musical guessing games helped make him a game show legend. La, 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 la. Oh, Just in time. You got Perhaps the most lasting image of Name That Tune was the bid a note round. I can name that tune in seven notes. I'll try six. Five. Four. Name that tune. Joining Tom was a young performer named Kathy Lee Johnson. We'd all come to know her as Kathy Lee Gifford. She was called the La La Girl on the new $100,000 Name That Tune. After she left the show, Steve March Torme, son of the late entertainer Mel Torme, became a featured vocalist. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a tremendous amount of press from it, uh, which shows you the power of television. I mean, just a guy that was singing a few notes on a TV show. Those notes, combined with a chance to win some big money, turned Name That Tune into a household phrase. Music is something that everybody relates to, and I think that's why the show works so well. Everyone felt they had a shot at naming that tune. What is it? Just like me, they want to be close to you. You got it! Katie is in the studio is driving us nuts. Oh. Damn! I can't wait. <laughs> Every song. God. Can you believe this, Tom? I can't. Tom Kennedy, it's good to see you. Thank you. Good. Listen, these are great memories you're dredging up for me. Well, here. you know, our, yeah. our producers, Gil Reesfield and Shemaine Pelzer, helped put those together. So oh, we're, we're this really... is terrific. Listen, did you have any idea that this show was going to be as successful as well? I mean, it had the run in the 50s, but all of a sudden, in the 70s, bam, it became a big I didn't thing. dare think it was going to be as big as it was, mm -hmm. but I was hopeful because I remembered the radio show and the early show with George DeWitt they're talking about, Red Benson did this show Bill Cullen did this show and I remembered those days and I thought if we can just recapture some of that we'll mm -hmm. be lucky and it took off you know one of the things that we introduced on the new version the 74 version when I did it uh, was that bit of note mm -hmm. I can name that tune in seven notes I can name that tune in six and that really caught on you still have people coming up to you saying that don't you? Oh, to this day yeah I can walk I can cross that street in five steps you know whatever <laughs> Anything in it. <laughs> How did you get your start? A lot of when we've been interviewing a lot of your brethren, they they, they all started in radio and, and yeah, make, well, made them a lot of us uh, early MCs did. Yeah, we, we graduated, segued from radio into television. I started because my brother Jack Nars got into the business before I did. I didn't even dream of going into broadcasting, mm -hmm. but my brother Jack did, and he got into it and he liked it and he said to me, "Why don't you give it a shot?" I was in Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky is where we're from. Jack went out to the West Coast, went to a radio school, got into the business, and then he, I came out and did the same thing. Now, what do you think about, you watch a lot of these game shows today, yeah. the newer ones, like uh, uh, Weakest Link, things like that. What mm -hmm. do you think of game shows that are being done today? 
Some of them are good and some of them are bad, and, and that's the name of that. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll give you a good response to that. I think that who wants to be a, a millionaire is the most perfectly constructed quiz I've ever seen. It is gorgeous. It's a work of art. Mm -hmm. And it was beautifully performed by reaches and I know it's slipping a little bit but I think it's because they trampled the show they yeah. just beat it to death but it's a great show and uh, there are some good ones I think that weakest link is a it's kind of a gimmicky thing but it's cute mm -hmm. uh, I don't know I don't know how many uh, what kind of legs it's gonna have yeah you're working but, on a history of game shows aren't you yeah, I am indeed I have all this time Al. I'm not working anymore uh -huh. and so I have put together a show it's a live presentation with me narrating with clips and uh, theme songs and what have you I call it the wonderful world of games as perceived by a recovering game show host. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you everything you need well, to know. Great. Well, we'll look for that, Tom. We're so happy. I, I want to warn you, yeah. when Katie plays a game, yeah. it's a full contact sport. Oh, I can okay, see so, that. So are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, <laughs> right. I can hardly wait. All right, when we come back, Matt and myself, uh, Katie, we are all going to be squaring off against each other for Name That Tune out on the plaza. That's coming up after these messages. <laughs> yeah. I love being a paramedic. I love helping people. But I'd get to the call and I... When it comes to allergies, we're both pollen, cat, dust. With allergies, just one Zyrtec. Steve Bo, where our people listen, understand, and help. How can I make these look like they're not just from my home office? Some digital photos. It'd be nice if everything was like that. And praying doesn't hurt. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. I'm the bus lady. Someone with the x -Lax. Good morning, Gary. A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We're back with more of today's Game Show Legends Week. And now here's the host of Name That Tune, Tom Kennedy. Just warm it up here. All right. So, Tom, you're going you're gonna to explain the game to us and how we're going to play. All right. This is going to be a little different from what you've seen on the air, but the competition is going to really warm you guys up. Is that a good idea? <laughs> yeah. All right. How many of you are for the women? Yeah. How many for the guys? Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready to go? We're ready to go. Are you all set, women? I don't know. I hope so. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call it Pick a Tune because I'm picking a tune. Okay. I'm going to play for you a tune. Stand by your buzzers. Those are the buzzers right there where you think you know it. Hit that buzzer. I'm nervous. And then I'll come to you and see if you indeed can name that tune. Can we hear tune number one? Listen. Oh, the guys were first. What is it? Hot stuff. You did it! It's hot stuff. Can we hear it? Listen. Listen. Who had the big record? Uh, That's uh, right. Donna Summer. That's right. It was Donna Summer. Does he okay, get extra now. points for that? No, I just okay, wanted good. to know. All right. Okay. You ready? Here we come. Like We're choking over here. Ch <laughs> two, number two. Uh, Do it again. Oh, uh, oh, oh you so didn't know. Do you, hey, wait a minute. Do you have it over here? Can he we play has, a little more? No. Play a little more. Yeah, it's a theme song. Yeah, they're trying to get help. With you. What is it? Soap. That's it. it was so awesome. Our stage manager, Mark, was Mark. going like this. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> You're disqualified. Get out of here. Okay. All right, Tom, go ahead. Right. Mark, stay Sorry, out of this I next one. Here's tune number three. Who is it? Oye That man is right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah, 
Tomo box. Well, it Can is. We have yeah. a we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this and is Bumpy Me Out. How you doing? I'm uh, feeling very nervous and kind of not doing so well. Well, that hasn't helped at all either. So I know. chose my partner well. <laughs> Who had the big record? Who had the big record? Santana. Tito Puente. Oh, that's true. Tito all right. did it first. Oh, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Oh, so sorry. Look at the score. <laughs> two to one. Two, for the, on the two for the guys, you one for the right. gals. Okay. Here is the fourth and final tune in this segment. Can I hear it, please? Oh, here. Here. We hear it first. Oh, I said, no, no, no. That is it, oh, little man. Look at this. Look who sing is beeping here. We got it. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. I didn't know that. What was your answer? Piano Man, Billy That is it. They did hit first, because the lights were close. Oh, yes. Such a classy winner, you. Can we do one more? Who's competitive now? Not in this round. No, we're going to play another round. This is bad That's Yeah, that was pick a tune. Okay, that was very And you guys won. And I didn't cheat on that one. That was close. It was three to one. Three to one, but we're not through yet. And we're we going need to, to come play. back here, girlfriend. Okay. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, on this next one, please do not give any answers aloud. And you have to remember that the answers they're giving you may be wrong. I'm not so. getting answers except for soap. All right, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are going to play, folks, bit a note. And I'm going to give you clues for tunes. You okay. listen to the clues. Based upon that clue, you tell me how many notes it will take you to name that Got tune. Okay. The highest bid is seven, the lowest is zero. The guys are gonna start because they won the last round. Okay. Here we go, this is the first tune. Now listen, everybody, they're all listening to this. This Gershwin hit was featured in the 1937 movie, Shall We Dance? So far, no help. All right, starring okay. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. So it's a Gershwin hit. So they start. The guys are starting. Now, the highest possible bid is seven notes. We can name that tune, Tom, in 250 notes. <laughs> <laughs> I think seven is the... Seven notes, Tom. They are saying they can name that tune in seven notes. We can name that tune, Tom, in six notes. Tell them, no, say... We can name that tune in six notes. There you go. <laughs> and you're on your own here, pal. Name that tune. They say. Tracy all right. Stark on the piano. Tracy Stark, six notes. Now, wait a minute, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Hold it, hold it. Here's the repeat of your clue. This Gershwin hit was featured in the 1937 movie Shall We Dance, starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Here are your six notes. <laughs> the way you sip your tea. They can't take that away from you me. You did it! <laughs> You Finally! I've acquitted myself. Right. Here's your next one. Uh, this next song is the title track to a 1984 film about an unexpected romance between an out-of-work football player and a racketeer's ex-girlfriend. I'm glad I'm not playing this one. <laughs> um, so you got it? The next song is the title track to a 1984 film about an unexpected romance I see a lot of blank faces here, but maybe not now over Now, Matt there. just had a... I know what I see, but you start the bidding. Okay, I can name... We can name that tune in yes. seven notes. Seven notes. What? We can name that tune... Six notes. Six notes. Six notes. Six notes. Six notes. Six. We can name that tune and You name that tune. Okay. <laughs> name that tune. <laughs> We're in deep Six here. I think so. Here's the repeat of your clue. Title track, 1984 film, oh, yeah. unexpected yeah. romance between an out-of-work football player and a racketeer's ex-girlfriend. All right, here are your six notes. Can we hear those again? Yeah. Can we give them the six notes again? Oh, yes. Against all odds. That's it, against all odds. Can we hear it, Tracy? Tracy, go ahead and play. Phil Collins. Phil Collins, Phil Collins is right. Yes. Good album. That is it. Yeah. And the movie star Jeff Bridges and Rachel Ward. Phil that Collins. That didn't sound did like it. against all odds to me, did it to you initially? Yeah, yeah, we got it right off the bat. <laughs> okay, okay. This all right. third tune is How a pop. How many more tunes are there, Tom? Yeah. Two. Two? Two. So more. the worst we can do is tie. No, yeah. no, no. There are three more. Uh, three more. If we have time. If we have time. 
We may not have time. All right, the third tune is a popular favorite among engaged couples when choosing a song for their wedding dance. It was recorded in 1961 by a legendary blues singer. I can tell you that Glenn Miller had a big hit in the mid 40s. Uh, uh, you won the last one, so you start the bidding. Seven, seven, seven notes. Six notes. No, say, I can oh, name oh, that tune in six. Tell them. I can name that tune in seven notes. Six. No, we six. said seven. <laughs> six. I'm sorry, I can name that tune in six there notes. There you go. We can name that tune in five notes. Ho! Ho! Oh. We can name that tune in four notes. Oh! Name that tune, Katie. Oh. Four oh. notes. <laughs> It's a popular favorite among engaged couples when choosing a song for their wedding dance. It was recorded in 1961 by a legendary blues singer. Glenn Miller had it, too, in the uh, early 40s. And here are your, what was it, six notes? Four. Four, four. Six four notes. notes. All right, four notes. here are your four notes, Tracy. My love. Oh, no. Do you get it? it automatically. No, you oh. get it automatically. Yeah. But, but wait a minute. What, what is, is it? it? What at is it? last. That's oh, it. Last. At last. Oh, at last. Yes. <laughs> I thought you had it. Kid. I thought it was. It was at last. I was thinking about it. I know that song. And who? Keep going, Tracy. Keep going, Tracy. One more tune. No. I'm sorry, Ann. No, I'm, I'm glad you said so. Tom oh, Kennedy, we're wrapping it up. Name that tune. Oh, Thank you so oh, much. Very pleasure. Oh, what was the score again? I forgot. Five to two. <laughs> Morning mix. Hmm. Good work, Home Depot and participating H2 Value and Do It Best Hardware Stores makes a great gift. Pepperidge Farm Raisin Swirl Bread. With sweet cinnamon and plump juicy raisins. Everything else is toast. Pepperidge Farm. Never have an ordinary day. What's better than a day of savings? How about two? Kohl's two-day sale is this Friday and Saturday only. You'll save on hundreds of items store-wide. Take an extra 10% off all fine jewelry, already 50 to 60% off. Take 30 to 40% off all women's coordinates. Save 40% on all juniors' tank tops. And save 50% on all solid color bath towels and accent rugs. Find more ways to renew at Kohl's two-day sale this Friday and Saturday only. Kohl's, that's more like it. New at 10, we're told to go to the doctor every year for a checkup, but some health experts say we're getting the wrong tests and missing some crucial exams. We'll update the annual checkup checklist for women at 10. Good morning, everyone. The weather still feels like winter around here. Winter that just doesn't want to quit this yeah. year. Let's take a look at the uh, map for this afternoon. Now, we've got some scattered snow showers right along the lake shore in Racine and Kenosha County. By this afternoon, those just diminished to scattered flurries and kind of a cold and dry weather pattern across the northern and central part of the country. Scattered snow showers along the lake early today, then partly to mostly cloudy, just scattered flurries after that. A high of 38, about like yesterday. All right, thanks a lot, Jim. In the news today, the violence in Israel is having an effect on some Wisconsin students. The University of Wisconsin-Madison is suspending its Jerusalem Study Abroad program and is asking students there to return home. Four undergraduate students are enrolled at the Rothberg International School of the Hebrew University. The students have been notified they must return by April 11th or risk losing enrollment status. Should a mother who attacked her sons with a baseball bat be allowed to leave a mental health facility? In 1997, Elise Ledvina killed her 8-year-old and attacked his 9-year-old brother, Joe. Joe survived. Ledvina was found legally insane and committed, but now she wants to be released into a halfway house. Ledvina's ex-husband is worried for the safety of their son if she is released. A hearing is scheduled for the matter next Thursday. Mad deer disease has been found in 10 deer in Madison. Near Madison, the 10 sick deer were all living in the same five square mile area north of Mount Horeb. You're up to date. Next time, call an expert. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood plumber. At the General, it's fast and easy to get auto insurance you payment can be. For the best car insurance rates in town, call 1-800-GENERAL-NOW! Top 10 reasons to shop Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Power tools, car stuff, sporting goods, power tools. Housewares, paint, jeans, pet food, candy, shoes. Get a state premium weed and feed. A 36-pound bag, $11.49. Pick up green and green for lawns. An 18-pound box, $19.99. And get KT Wild Bird Food. 
the popular mix for year-round feeding, a 50-pound bag, $7.99. Top three reasons to shop Blaine's Farm and Fleet? Simple. Service, selection, and value. Weather in the Milwaukee area can change quickly. Don't be left in. See nightly news tonight. Select. Mixed words for the block. For a block of H.J. Lara, and again, for a sixth tie game, here's the question. And that is Tic-Tac-Doe, the classic game show hosted by none other than Wink Markendale. As Martindale, as we wrap up our game show Legend Series tomorrow, Wink will join us in the plaza to play the game. Meanwhile, we're not very gracious losers, but Ann and I are the losers here for Name That Tune. It was sort of a pathetic showing by the women, but we have convinced Tom to stick around and play a few more rounds so we can try to catch up with our brilliant competitors. <laughs> but I want to say, Al did great. He really did. On the last tune, you did have two of yes. the words from the Thank you very much, title. Tom, for it mentioning it. Last, because it is, at last, our love. Our love. My, and our, you said, at, at last, my, my love, love has come along. And you right? said, my love. So I got a little confused. So thank you for pointing that out. Okay. Do I get half a point for we that? Have, we don't have much time. You want to play okay. another one? Sure. Yeah, okay, right, okay. Think, okay. Right. Focus. This is a popular 70s song that referred to angels and moon dust. It was this second number one hit for a brother-sister team. Don't say I know anything. what it is already. All right, uh, wait a minute. Name, uh, how many notes? None? Zero. Zero. Do I get extra points she for says, naming it in zero? We'll ask Don Pardo. I don't okay. know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you must be talking about, can I just say it? Yeah, say it. Close to you by That's the carpenter. It. it is close to you. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. No, oh, keep playing. We have time for I think, is that it? We can oh, do one more? All right, here we go. Yeah, come on, that didn't take any time. We have a little more Katie, time. I'm on a song, roll. Katie, this song is from an 80s TV show which told the story of a school teacher who donned a red suit. Oh, here he goes. Oh, to fight no, I know, I can name that tune in. You are the last one. We'll get this one. Okay. You can start with seven, or you, and the lowest is zero. 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 Name. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I you know, don't get okay. to play can anything. I sing it? No. Okay. Name it. Believe it or not. Is that Joey right? Scarbor Do you think jo that's Joey right? Joey Scarborough. He is right. It is. Believe Let's it or it. not. Walking on air, I never thought I could be so free. Hey! And I wig and a prayer. Who could it be? <laughs> can I show Believe it or not, it's just me. <laughs> Welcome back, Connor. <laughs> what was the red suit part of I don't know. I, that was I the, forgot the red suit. The greatest okay. American hero was okay. the TV Cap. show. Yeah, whatever happened to William Cap? I don't know. He was the daughter. He was the son of, uh, of Bar Barbara. Barbara. Uh, Barbara. Uh, she played yeah. uh, and Bill Mary Williams. Mason's. Uh, and Bill Williams was oh. his dad. Yeah. However, we digress. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Forget it. I said, right. Okay, Tom can, Kennedy, we this one? Wait, oh, no. can we do one more? <laughs> I'm out of tunes. Do we're out of tunes. Crazy. No. Crazy, we can you sing us something? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, We're just blowing the whole half hour you. out here. <laughs> I tell you what. Listen. Don't listen to Don them. Pardo Don't listen to them. Do. Don Pardo, tell us what right, Matt and I have won. Each of our contestants this morning will receive a box of Eskimo pies and a special edition Today Show backpack. <laughs> nice. And a Today Show what? Today Show backpack. Okay, Tom, here we go. This is a tune about a state of the nation, a state in the nation. Okay. I'm going to give you one note, and it's about here. Could we hear it, Tracy? <laughs> Oklahoma! Oh, that's it! Oklahoma! We're doing the happy dance! We're doing the happy dance! These guys are unbelievable! Unbelievable! Tom, you were great. You got to hand it to them. Thank you. Tom Kennedy, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Kennedy. Tom Kennedy. Let's hear it for Tom. Check your weather, see what's going on right now. We are so pathetic. <laughs> and you'll see as far as our weather's concerned for today, we've got sunshine in the Pacific Northwest, on into the uh, West Coast, some clouds in Southern California. Sunny in the uh, Southeast with temperatures a little chillier than they've been, flurries in the Central Great Lakes. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Today's Milwaukee area forecast calling for some scattered snow showers right along the lakeshore early, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy and just some scattered flurries later on with a high of 38. The weather improves a bit tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy, temperatures getting into the 40s.
Ashley Judd, Morgan Freeman, High Crimes is a pro. That's your latest weather. So, so much so much fun. Fun. Can we do this every day? <laughs> I'll have to practice because Al is really good, isn't he? I knew Oklahoma. I Why didn't you... I yell it out? I, I kept thinking Georgia. <laughs> you know, by Ray Charles. Georgia! Yeah, Georgia. anyway, forget it. Oh, anyway, up next, Stephen Kojikaru will be by. You should join us for that. You have fun. <laughs> yeah, but right, like right after these messages. <laughs> this is Model T. Bus lady. Work here is done. Hey guys, grab a diet. Thanks to Diet Coke and Blockbuster, you could win a walk-on role in a big-time movie. Just look for a game piece inside specially marked multi-packs or multi-liters of Diet Coke to win. Give autographs. Diet Coke, do what feels good. Twist left and look for... There's nothing like a great night's sleep. I can get an early start in the morning and go out and do something just for me. It's time to get up. I love my Tylenol PM. Wish your dentures were this comfortable? Bob's are. He got a unique denture adhesive. Seabon. Bought it for hold. Love it for comfort. Only Seabon clings wall to wall with three strong adhesives in a thin velvet soft wafer. No gaps, no ooze, and cleanup's easy. Seba, buy it for whole. Love it for comfort. Coming to the Dallas Farmer's Market, asking folks, how do you like your ranch dressing to taste? Just a full flavor. You know, I like to taste it. Like Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. It's creamy, delicious. This tastes like no other dressing. My favorite. Well, I believe you ought to stick to the original. Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. We made it first, we made it right. That's what ranch dressing is supposed to taste like. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. And now, easy squeeze ranch with bacon. Katie just said she could have played Name That Tune for two hours. She so tomorrow so on today. Brandy, Brandy goes on a maternity clothes shopping spree. Mariah Carey celebrates 33 in style and the latest Hollywood smear campaign. Here with all that and much more is our great buddy and the West Coast style editor of People Magazine, Stephen Kojikaro. Hey, Stephen, good to see you. And wait, you have to add, add a new title, author. I have major breaking news for you because you guys have basically given me a career mm -hmm. and I've, I'm doing a book. Oh, really? Book really? Wow. About oh, my life. What? As a frizzy haired homely boy who's now a straight haired homely boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking, and the, well, the title is The Red Carpet Diaries, but I really want to call it Matt Lauer next Thursday. Because <laughs> I think it could sell.